From teal and orange to boosted clarity, this decade's had a lot of editing trends that have taken Instagram and other social media apps by storm. So let's run through all of the most popular editing techniques of the 2010s. Is it called 2010s? I'm not sure, the 2010s. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Dax Brule, photographer, videographer from Ottawa, Ontario, and today we're gonna talk about the most popular editing trends of the decade. Let's get right into it. Hitting off number one, I think we all know this teal and orange M31, they call it in the fancy name, I guess. I'm not sure, I'll be honest, I've only been doing photography for three years, so I'm not 100% sure if it was a thing before 2010. I'm sure it was, it's a Hollywood look for sure, but 2010 took Instagram by storm, teal, and orange if you don't know teal and orange you're pretty much going to be using these two complementary colors teal and orange and you're going to be putting your teal into your shadows and your orange into your highlights by using split toning or camera calibration other tools like that and it gives a really good look i'll be honest all photos would look good with a teal and orange look even if i make this image teal and orange by making my skin tones more orange and this blue light a little more teal so i'm not going to blame anyone for using it i'm not going to blame anyone for using any of these techniques i've used them myself many 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 times because they do look super good i just think that it has been used very very often kind of loosening the creativity that's what i would say for all of these trends they loosen the creativity because people start to just repeat and repeat repeat the same thing never expanding on their creativity number two film grain or the film look so film photos i'm not sure if it's like been two years or three years i don't know when it came back but film photos came back huge people started buying film cameras like crazy but i think a huge trend was actually making your digital photos look like a film look film grain became a huge popular trend i'm not exactly sure when but people know this, everyone's trying to make their photos look like they're taken on film. Myself, I bought a film camera, I haven't used it much. I do this, whenever a photo is too grainy, I'm like, screw it, let's make it look like it was shot on film. I do believe it is a great look. I love the look of these old vintage photos. It kind of has a warm, I don't even know how to explain it, but that is gonna be my number two choice. Number three is the over clarify, over dehaze, over texture, arise image. I'm not gonna point any fingers, but Peter McKinnon. I have a concept called the Peter McKinnon baby boom. I am part of it myself. In 2017, when Peter McKinnon started posting videos, the amount of photographers and videographers exponentially rose because everyone started getting into it because it was so accessible and so easily learnable through these medias like Peter McKinnon. And one thing he really liked to do was over clarify his image. It was a huge trend of his and it, it leaked right into Instagram and many people are doing it, myself included, I have been a victim and many photographers when they're beginning do this is they just crank those clarify sliders because they think it looks good and I'm sorry I don't like the look anymore but I do think you know you can do it right but it is a trend that 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 took instagram by storm in 2017 2018 is even 2019 people are still doing it it's just over clarifying your images number four choice softening the blacks for sure was a thing that i see all the time and i just don't like the look of it what's the word fading your blacks for sure you're gonna grab that tone slider you know it and you're just gonna bring those blacks up it's gonna make it look like a softer cinematic look for sure i would say and it, it was a, i don't know if it was a trend i did it my Myself. I still see it today, but I do not think it's that great of a look. Let me know what you think of softening blacks, fading your blacks. Comment below. That is going to be your number four choice. Finally, number five. I'm just going to end that number five there. Moody images, those green, moody, forest, dark images. Everyone knows this. Took Iceland by storm for sure. And any area that has those those trees it just became a huge popular trend to make your greens super unsaturated super dark make those images look super moody i recently put a video out actually on how to how to how to get this look how to achieve this look you can check it out right there this was a super popular trend for sure it took instagram i wouldn't say by storm i think it was a slow gradual look and many people still do it i think it looks great i won't i won't say it doesn't look great but it is a trend that was in the decades and that's gonna be the end of the video let me know do you think there's any ones that i missed i'm sure i missed a couple a couple are popping into my head right now for example these sunset kind of you know landscape images i've been seeing a lot of profiles that just 
post these kind of orange, very warm tone images and I think they look great, but you get stuck in a, in one single trend and everyone always says this, find your niche. I don't agree with that at all. I think you should always be expanding, learning different things. Of course, you can have your main type of photography, but as far as editing goes, I think you should always be expanding. Of course, it looks better on Instagram, but at the end of the day, I don't think people care that much if your feed is good or if your feed gives value. At the end of the day, it's all about giving value to people. That's what I'm trying to do here. Let me know if this video helped you guys. If I missed any in the comment section below, please comment them gently, gently, gently. I say this every video, gently tap that like button. If you enjoyed, subscribe. If you're new and you wanna have dope videos coming into your inbox every single, actually three times a week, sorry. I'm not every single day, no, no. I don't do that. I'm not that hardcore guy. That notification bell, you know how it is. Um, creators, keep creating. See you guys in the next one. Dab.